Hi, I'm David. I'm Canva Certified Creative based in Brno, Czech Republic. And I'm excited to show you today how to create charts and graphs in Canva without any other tool, how to import your data from other application, how to even connect Canva with Google Sheets. And on top of that, I want to show you beautiful ways to enhance your infographics by using dynamic infographic elements. So let's jump straight to the Canva editor. In Canva, you can use up to 11 different chart types, starting with bar charts, row charts, line charts, scatter plot charts, histogram charts, area charts, stacked bar and row charts, and those typical percentage pie chart and donut chart. And the 11th one is actually a little bit hidden, but I will show you how to find it. The 11th chart is called funnel chart. So the easiest way to insert chart in Canva editor is to pick the chart tool from the toolbar. If you cannot see the chart tool in the toolbar, it's usually hidden in the more section. So click on the three dots in the more, and here you can find charts. Once you click on it, it will be pinned to your toolbar. And from there, you can pick the type you want to use in your design. As you can see, here are those 10 different uh, types of charts. And the first five elements are actually infographic elements, which we'll cover a little bit later. So let's say I want basic bar charts. So select this one by clicking and go straight to the design. It's beautifully animated. By the way, each chart type is animated automatically. You cannot change it, you cannot disable it. Of course, you can um, add element animation on top of that or page animation, but still each chart would be animated by its own when presented in a full screen presentation mode. So this is the bar chart and it's filled with sample data. Obviously, I can start uh, changing those data in straight in a table. So I can put, let's say, five. And once you change the data, it's uh, visible on, on the live chart in your design. You can even clear the data and start with uh, data, filling data from scratch. You can, by right clicking, you can insert columns or rows. Or you can even delete columns or rows if you want to. Now, let's say you have your data somewhere else, let's say in Google Sheets, and you don't have to type it again if it's available in any spreadsheet. Would it be Microsoft Excel, Google Sheet? It doesn't matter. So I will just switch to uh, Google Sheet and let's say I want this data range copied to Canva. So I will select it, Control C or Command C, go back to Canva, and here in the bottom section of this chart edit area, where it says paste data from spreadsheet, I just click on it and put Control V on Windows, Command V on Mac, and immediately those data are filled correctly into the table and the chart is reflecting these data. Now, there is a settings tab and I can do a little bit some tweaks. I can show labels, I can switch off labels and keep the labels on. I can hide grids and ticks from the chart by like this. And in some cases, when I want to change rows and columns for data, I can do it here as well. Now, once the chart is in my design, it's working like any other element in Canva. That means I can change colors. Let's say I can put a different color of the chart. I can resize it. And when I pull the um, handles on the left and right side, it's like, it's like a stretching to the sides or to the top and bottom. So I can actually make the chart looking exactly the way and proportion I want. You can even apply transparency in a chart. So as I said, it's working the same way like any other element. If I want to change this chart from bar chart to row chart, I don't have to do it again from scratch. I'll just select the chart and here in edit, on the top portion of this edit dialog, I just click on it and select the desired type, let's say a row chart. And voila, it's done. And by the way, this is the way where I can find this 11th chart type, the funnel. So if I click here, the last one is funnel chart. It's not available here in the tool. You, the only way to find it is by creating chart and then change the type to the funnel chart. 
And here you go, this is the final chart. Now I mentioned when you present your design in a full screen in presentation mode, the charts are animated. Let's have a look how all these 10 charts are animated when I uh, switch the full screen mode. See, it's automatically showing the data from the first uh, row to the last one. It's kind of like a visual aid that makes consuming such a boring thing that charts sometimes could be more digestible way. Now let's see how we can change the existing uh, chart in our design and we want this time we want to link it to a Google Sheet document. So this is kind of uh, data we have in, uh, in our table and we don't want constantly change the data in the table. We want to keep table, the spreadsheet, separate from Canva in Google Sheet document. But every time we change something, we want to update it without re-entering the data. So for that, we need to connect our Google Sheet. We can do that by selecting the chart and here clicking connect with Google Sheet. When I click on that, I select my Google account. I have to give Google access to Canva. When I click continue. Now it's connected and uh, I have to select uh, the spreadsheet. So it's called sales report. I can double check. Yeah, this is called sales report. This is my Google, um, Google Sheet document. I pick uh, the tab because I can the document, the Google Sheet document may have several tabs. I got only one, YTD sales. And then I have to enter the data range because the Google Sheet document may have more tables, like in my case. So in this case, I want to enter this data range, which is from A8 to D13. So A8 to D13, and I will enter this uh, range here. So A8 to D13, when I click enter, and once I click update, it's connected. So let's have a look. I just go back to my design. Now this chart is connected with my Google Sheet. I go back to Google Sheet and let's change, uh, let's say this name from sugar free to sugar only. And let's change some numbers. Let's say the first one, so it should be visible from zero. Let's put 15, right? So I change that in a Google Sheet document, going back to Canva. Now click on a chart, click update. And let's see, I see the 15 and is a sugar only, this label changed as well. So sugar free to sugar only and zero to 15. So it's well connected with my Google Sheet document. Now, in this another example, let's say I want to change the type of the pie chart to more beautiful, let's say donut chart. So I just click on a pie chart and here in a menu, instead of pie chart, I just click donut chart and see it's immediately changed. So I can keep that in my design and only change the type of chart. Now let's move to infographics. Canva has five dynamic elements that helps you build infographics very fast and in a very beautiful way. And again, you can find those in charts. And these are the first five elements in the chart tool. The first one is a progress ring. Then you have a progress bar. There's a radial progress and progress dial and pictograms like, like here. And these are dynamic. What I mean by this? When you click on that element, instead of spreadsheet with data, with numbers, you actually change percentage and the appearance of the design, like, like a line weight, how thick this element should be. And you may or may not switch on and off percentage label and control the endings of the endpoints, if it's like rounded or if it's like rectangular. So let's have a look. If I want to change this progress bar, like this, from 0% to 100%, you move the slider or you can even type a very specific value, let's say 57, and that's done. You can change line weight. Of course, you can change colors any way you want. You can show the percentage or disable, and you can change the rounded endpoints into rectangle one. Same way it's working progress ring, See, it's very, very addictive actually to move it 
here the percentage is inside and by the way once this chart is selected you can change the type of the font inside these infographic elements simply by changing the font let's say to now bold I can, I can make it a bit smaller I can change even the color of the font let's say to the red see you can customize it the way you want radial it works like this when a zero is like on the left hand side and full gauge actually full 100% uh, is on the right hand side that's the portion of the percentage and the last one the progress dial works similar way but instead of the percentage number there's a kind of like a dial that is moving from zero it's like a tank fuel tank gauge uh, and like in the cars and the last one the pictogram is actually very very beautiful you when you click on it you select the icon you want to use in the, in the infographics and then you choose the total number total items and how many out items should be filled so it doesn't need to be necessarily 100 it can be let's say three out of five you can type five as a total three is a field and you can control spacing between those uh, those elements if you want to change this uh, icon to a different one let's say to uh, to to drops just select different icon and of course you can change color here as well it's completely customizable now in this another example i may have a slide like this 28 cars out of the total 49 are red so it's nice to have this kind of like a sentence on the slide but it would be much more beautiful and usable for audience to visualize this sentence so how can we do it let's say you want to click on a chart click on a pictogram here we go we select because we're speaking about the cars so let's select cars let's select because we speak about the red color i can put a red color here and um, when i click on this pictogram i said the total was 49 and uh, 28 are red so 28 are filled and this is it and now we can again style it we can resize it the way we want we can make it a little bit more consistent when we are lucky enough that the total numbers is aligned with the with the shape but here you go so this is much more useful visual information that we can use in the slides and so this is it i hope that you know how to build charts from scratch by now how to import data from other applications how to even connect google sheets with canva and i hope that you are excited about the infographic elements the way i am and it will use them in your designs Thank you very much for watching. If you want to connect with me, this is my Facebook and Instagram account. I'm uh, looking forward to see your comments or questions beneath the video and hopefully see you next time. Take care.